If you'd like to make sophisticated text reveals, like you see in this introduction, give me 10 minutes of your time and I'll show you how to do this with Keynote and iMovie. First, let's start out with a simple example. We'll begin creating a Keynote file. We need wide format and either a white or a black background, it doesn't matter. Zoom out to fit the whole slide. Next, delete the subtitle. You only need one piece of text. Type in your text into the title block. Set your font to the desired size. I'm going to use 200 points. Click on the background and set it to green. The technique we're going to use is to use a green rectangle over the text with a green background so only the text shows through. Create the rectangle to cover the text. Stretch it and move it to cover the text. The key technique here is the mask and the background color are both the same. The same color green because we're going to use the green screen in iMovie. Animate the rectangle to move off the text. This will progressively reveal the text. We'll use right to left motion. Slow it down a little bit. Check the reveal. It looks good. Export it to a QuickTime file. We'll use 180p for max resolution. Save to the desktop or a convenient spot where you can easily find it. Exit Keynote and launch iMovie. Drag the file on top of your clip. Line things up so you don't have any extra dead space in the text block. Trim the static ends of the text clip. Set the text clip to green screen overlay. Voila! There are many useful keynote animations. Let's take a look at a couple of them to make our text a little bit jazzier. Any build-out animation will work on the mask rectangle. Confetti is kind of cool. Flash bulbs are kind of interesting. Sparkle is quite interesting as well. Vanish looks good. Flame, I think, is really kind of neat. Let's try that one. We'll set the animation of the mask rectangle to flame. Repeat the export to QuickTime at 1080p. Again, drag it over the clip, trim it down so there's no static portions of the file. And there we go, flaming text. The next thing we'll do, you see a lot in commercials, we're gonna make the text scroll out of the rock wall. This only works with a camera that is not moving. We'll begin by exporting a frame of the clip as an image. We'll use it as a placement guide for our mask. In Keynote, create your green background and your text. Drag the image file onto the slide. Stretch it to fill the frame. Move the image to the back so the text is on top of it. Now we're going to create a series of green shapes to mask the object that line up with the canyon wall. We'll use triangles. I sped this up a little bit. To avoid the boredom, I'm not particularly good at keynote shape creation. But add the shapes until the text path to the right is completely masked, where it'll come out of the canyon wall. 
Don't worry if you have too much mask above or below the text. It really doesn't matter. Select text to add the animation. We'll use a build in, not out, and we'll use the move in animation type. Move in from the right, not the left in this case. We'll slow it down a little bit. It looks okay. The L is a little bit blocked. We could have moved the text to fix that problem, but I didn't bother. Select the background image and delete it. Do our usual export to QuickTime at 1080p. Once again, drag the clip on top and set it to green screen. Voila! Our text emerges from the rocks. Our next text reveal will be a dual reveal with a shape. We'll use Keynote's Magic Move to create the animation. Once we have our text in our green background, we'll create our horizontal line. It's going to be the same color as the text, but doesn't have to be. Thicken it up a little bit. Then duplicate it. We want one for the top and one for the bottom. Then move them on top of each other so it looks like one line to start with. We need a rectangle mask. Place it on top of the text and stretch it out to cover. Then duplicate the rectangle. Put it over the bottom. Make the rectangles green to blend with the background. Next, we duplicate the slide. This is needed for a magic move. Select a rectangle and move it off of the text. Then do the same with the line. Repeat with the bottom half. Move the rectangle off and the line off. The rectangles have to abut the lines so that they move at the proper velocity when Magic Move does the interpolation. Animate the first slide with a Magic Move. There we go. Once again, export to QuickTime at 1080p. Drop our animation from the desktop on top of the video clip. Position and trim. Set to green screen overlay. Voila! To create the effect from the intro, I duplicated the clip and reversed the speed to get it to go in the opposite direction. That avoids doing two animations. Thanks for watching! If this video was useful, please like or subscribe below.